Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. And yes, I may have a problem, but I have just gotten my third Firefly SG style guitar. This right here is the Firefly FFLG in the Blood Fade finish. And I think that this may be the best looking, most affordable electric guitar you can buy. And I say that because it is the incredible combination of beautiful looking and under $200. And yeah, of course, there are a lot of other Firefly models that look really nice, and there are a lot of really nice looking under $200 guitars, but are they this good looking? I mean, this thing is just gorgeous. This guitar costs 190 bucks, and just look at it. But like I said, I now have three of these guitars, and I don't want to be too greedy, so I'm thinking maybe I should just keep one and you know, give away the other two to my friends or something like that. And real quick, speaking of giveaways, that is not me in the comments section, okay? I'm not giving anything away. You didn't win anything in the comments section. It's an ongoing YouTube scam. I made a video about it a while back, but not everybody has seen the video. But those, you know, text me on Telegram or whatever, don't reply to those people. It's a scam, just ignore it. Anyway, back to this guitar here. So I want you guys to help me decide which one of these guitars should I keep. Obviously, I have this one here. I also have, let's see, this one, which I believe was the first one that I got, kind of an orange burst. And then I also have the blueberry burst, which is, uh, I know, the personal favorite of a lot of viewers out there. And it's not a bad looking guitar by any means. And these guitars, all have the same specs. They all have mahogany bodies and necks, set neck construction, rosewood fretboards, 22 medium jumbo frets, bone nuts, humbuckers, and the same control layout. But the colors and the finishes are completely different. So here's what we're gonna do. I want you to feast your eyes on these pictures and tell me which one do you prefer? Number one, number two, or number three. Take a good look at these pictures and tell me which one is your favorite. If you could only have one, which one would you have? Go ahead, look at these pictures, take your time. Okay guys, so let me know which one did you pick? Let me know down in the comments section below. Okay, and while you are busy typing that, I'm gonna go ahead and play this guitar and plug it in and listen to how it sounds. But real quick guys, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool new affordable guitars and also staying up on all the latest news in the guitar universe, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in to Old Reliable, my Fender GTX 100, and we're gonna find out if the tone matches the looks of this guitar. Let's check it out. Oh, my God. 
Okay, let's talk a little bit about the tone and playability of this guitar. Now, the tone of this uh, of this guitar is similar to the other Firefly SG style guitars, of course. The pickups have a very sort of open, very organic sound, kind of loose sounding, if you know what I mean. And I think these guitars really lend themselves well to styles of music that have a very sort of focused mid-range sound. So blues rock especially, and that's not just because of the ACDC Angus Young connection or something with SG style guitars. But these guitars really, especially with these pickups, they really just excel in styles of music like that. Also, I think these guitars uh, would handle lower tunings well. And I've, I've tuned down like half step and whole step tuning with these guitars and they do great. Obviously, if you went down to something really low, you'd want to put some heavier gauge strings on it and that kind of stuff. But in general, having that nice kind of mid-ranged focused sound, it gives the tone of the guitar and it gives the notes you play a lot of clarity and articulation. And I think that's really why these guitars handle the lower tunings better. Because some guitars, when they don't have that uh, very clearly defined mid-range, when they go into the lower tunings, they start to sound very muddy and very flubby. But these guitars, I think, really retain their sound. Now, I weighed this guitar, and this one here was almost exactly 7 pounds. It was like 6.99 pounds. And the weight of the other guitars has all been in that ballpark. So, uh, you know, it's, it's about the same weight you would expect, like a Strat to be or, or something like that. You know, maybe a slightly heavier Strat, right? So these are very comfortable guitars to play uh, in terms of the weight. Now when it comes to the balance of the guitar, if you look on the back of the guitar, they put the strap button right here by the neck joint. Now some guitars with this body style will have the strap buttons out here on the upper horn. And really on this guitar, it's not going to change the balance very much because if you look at where that strap button is, where the upper horn is, I mean it comes out I don't know, maybe at most a half an inch, and that's just if you if you put the strap button right out on the tip there. And the where the strap buttons are in relation to the body of the guitar, that's really one of the biggest things as far as the balance of the guitar when you're standing up with the strap. That's one of the biggest things really aside from the weight distribution between the neck and the body. And in all honesty, guitars of this body style, where they, ha where they have a short upper horn, uh, they don't balance as well as guitars with a longer upper horn. A Strat type body is going to balance a little bit better and uh, it's kind of a funny thing but one of the best balancing guitars ever is the Jackson Warrior body shape and it's a really extreme really heavy metal body shape but it, it, it has that crazy body shape but it still has a long upper horn where the strap can attach to and so that makes it balance much better than something like a BC Rich Ironbird, which has a similar heavy metal body shape, but it doesn't have that upper horn for the strap to attach to, and so that guitar balances, uh, balances much worse. Okay, now what did you guys decide as far as the, uh, the looks of these guitars? Did you have a favorite? When I started this video off, I was saying this is my favorite, and I, I still think that is my favorite, although every time I look at the Blueberry Burst, it calls to me. And so I think if I keep looking at it, I might actually prefer this one, but I think, no, I'm, I'm just not going to look at it. I'm going to look at this one instead. I think this one's my favorite. Yeah. Oh, but then there's the orange burst. I mean, how can you deny the orange burst? I mean, this is a beautiful guitar. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing which ones you preferred. But, you know, one thing I really do want to ask you guys, aside from which one of these you preferred, I know there are a ton of Firefly owners out there that watch these videos 
that have a whole bunch of these different Firefly guitars. Do you have one that just stands apart from all the other ones in terms of the looks of the guitar? You know, the guitar that just, you, you look at it and you can't take your eyes off it. One that stands out more than all of the other Firefly guitars that you own. Which one is that one? Do you have a favorite? Again, let me know down in the comments section below. Because if it's one that I don't have, I want to put it on my short list of new Firefly guitars to get. Because, yeah, these guitars are, of course, they're a great value. Under 200 bucks for most of these models. And they play great. I mean, this one, you know, nice fret ends and everything. You know, that's, that's the other thing I should talk about real quickly is I have done no setup to this guitar. I open the box, I tune it, and I play it, and that's how I do the review. Um, yeah, so these, these guitars play great. They're just a lot of fun to get and to have, but they look so good, right? So yeah, if you think there's one that is just drop-dead gorgeous and I am missing it from my collection, please tell me. All right, guys, as usual, I'm going to have links for all the stuff down in the video description below, not just the guitars I was talking about, but also the amplifier I was using, that was the Fender GTX 100, and I will also have links down there for my latest instructional program. Um, I've got a, a package deal that I'm doing right now on some of my instructional programs, so I'll put that down there, as well as links to my social media, and even a link to my other channel where I talk about cars and airplanes and ham radio, just for instance, link. I know, random, don't worry about it. Check it out if you want to. I'll put a link down there. Guys, thanks a ton for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon.